ATK molding about support in Theamine. What the fuck? This has 13,000 views. I don't even need to do anything. I'm play safe. What? Ah, the fucking artist died. Don't need to do anything. I'm play safe. What? Ah, the fucking artist died. Dude, fucking stupid ass support. Why does he die? Your job is to live, you motherfucker, dude. Your job is to fucking live. My God, fucking supports are so garbage in this game, man. What the fuck's going on? Design your... This is a fucking game's fault, bro. They they designed the game wrong. Why is the support so fucking important? I can't... I, how did this support die? I don't understand. I mean, How? that is true, though. The support's way too important in this game. I actually hate it, dude. I actually hate it when a support dies. It is true. I mean, he's right. This is actually true. The support's way too important. Also, man, that's another thing, bro. This, it's, this hard mode shit, bro... It's look at he's just trying to finish his raids and shit, bro. It's so stressful. They gotta do this whole fucking raid. This raid's too hard, bro. This raid's too hard. How? How do you die here? Fucking hell, man. Just stand still. Holy shit, how did the support die? Oh my god. I mean he's probably really mad because he knows the pool's over. And you have to remember, dude, this shit's like a 10 minute fight, 15 minute. This is like, dude, but you have to understand, guys, this is like dying at the end of Brel, like old Brel, old, old, old pre nerf Brel, and you're progging hard mode. I mean, and then they die at the very end or some shit, and you have to start, you know how annoying that is? You have to, like, all right, well, there goes 20 fucking minutes, you know what I mean? It's too long. Die on meteors. It's like, and do you know what I'm talking about though? When you're like, tr when you're like still like early in the, the top, you've cleared it maybe before, but like whatever. And then they die. Like you might have been in the raid for a while and then they die at the very end of the fight. And you're just like, fuck. And you, or you wipe at the end of the fight and you're like, fuck, dude. Now I'll read the comments. Why you do this? Fucking support players, man. Dude, I, dude, as I was like, I was like, I mean, I'm assuming the comments are going to be like, why is he getting mad at the support? I'm assuming the comments are going to be fucking... He's still being too whiny. No, he's not. He's frustrated, bro. Like, like I, I hate... Come on, dude. You, like... Oh! Come on. It's fucking annoying, bro. Like, eventually you get frustrated. People are human. They get annoyed. He's just... it's He's just molding. You know what I mean? It happens. People mold. No, it's not about being right or wrong. You know what I mean? It's not even being about he's right or wrong. He's just fucking annoyed. People get annoyed. And then he's on camera and people are watching him. And then he, he can be as whiny as he wants. People being bad at this game. Surprise Pikachu face. This is another problem with the community, man. Another problem. That, one of the things that actually makes me sick of this community. I'm sorry, guys. It's like how fucking elitist people are. Like, I actually hate it. Like, I feel like this community is filled with a bunch of people that, like, think... They're good at, like, video games, and they choose this as the game to be good at. Like, I'm serious, though, man. It's, like, it's an MMO, dude. It's, this is not, like, competitive league or, like, I don't know, dude. It's, like, it's it's an MMO, you guys. It's This is not, like, you're choosing to be competitive at the worst game possible and then getting mad that other people aren't as competitive as you when you're doing, like, reclears of raids for gold. It's homework. It's literally a quest. It's a weekly. It's a daily. This isn't like some competitive esports where ladies and gentlemen, like, welcome to the arena. Like, it's literally something you have to do week in, week out. And, like, you're expecting people to sweat and try hard and folk. It's fucking like, dude, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's not the same. It's not even PvP. It's not even, but it's not even PvP, bro. If there weren't so many of them to do, no, but this is an attitude thing too, bro. It's the people that this game cultivates. It's the type of people that play this shit. Like, it's, I'm telling you, man. It's the type of shit. Like, it's, I experience it a lot, dude. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like if you're progging versus just doing a reclear, people get so, but the, it's, it's just fucked, man. ATK seems to have his grumpy and chill periods that he keep, keeps cycling. This is just the, this is this. You want to know what ATK's grumpy and chill periods are? It's the despair cycle of Lost Dark. I've told you guys this before. This is the cycle of the game. When you get updates, it's, oh, shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit. Battle items. Famine. Eclipse title. You know? Shards of Destiny. One dailies. Holy shit.
And then you're here. Fix the game. <laughs> this is this right here is the FF14, the FF14 drama cycle, bro. This is the same thing. Where there's nothing to do and everyone's fucking angry and despair and then they just look for stuff to get upset about and this is what happens, bro. It's the same thing, dude. Dude, like they're like okay, I'll give you an example. What was that like classic WoW drama where there was the guy that was exposed for having like a cryptocurrency thing and they were releasing documentaries of that one guy? I don't remember what his name was or who the guy that made it. Alex something. There was nothing going on in the game. There was nothing exciting going on. There was it was boring. And then they released this like Alex Sensual released like this dot. It's what happens when there's nothing to go on. It's just like, okay, here we go. I watched all of his YouTube guides where he looks extremely perplexed. <laughs> I watch all of his YouTube guides where he looks extremely polite and professional. Then I tuned into his stream and he seemed like the grumpiest person ever. I thought someone got on his nerves, but it's been like that for over a year. And from all the times I tuned in, he's always angry or grumpy or calling out his chat. I just made me it I just made me feel it just made me feel uneasy watching his stream. Even people like Nico Tulo, that arguably could be as, <laughs> as grumpy, I wouldn't say he's angry. He doesn't get toxic to his chat. The atmosphere is just much lighter. <laughs> Nico in this shit, bro. <laughs> Dude, I went to a stream for the first time and said, what's up, thickness? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, who in the fuck says what's up thickness? I'm just saying, like, I don't, I'm just whatever. I just think, I just think you're a fucking weirdo. It has nothing, if you went up to me and you said what up thickness, I mean, I'm just gonna think you're fucking weird. What up thickness? What's up, skinny legs? Palmachino. Too soon, so bitch. He said I was trying to call him fat. I mean, I don't try to call him fat, and that's why he doesn't like showing his face. Chat flamed me and I got banned. <laughs> Yo, Giant, thank you, dude, yeah. for the tier 1 15 months, bro. I appreciate you. <laughs> Went to Cotty's stream and said the same thing. Cotty said, What's up, cutie? Difference of energy, man. Yeah, because that's because Cotty's just an absolute baboon. I genuinely think Cotty is the most down to earth. This is true, though. Cotty's such a nice person. He's the kind of guy that I want to be best friend. No, I love Cody. I give that a thumbs. He's a great person. I mean, Cody's actually pretty funny, chill dude. Yeah, he's great. Played them several times in raids gardens. I think ATK is honestly burned out of the game. They need to stop playing. I mean, ATK was just on the ATK was just fucking on on his fucking euphoria wave after hitting Eclipse. You know, like I told, I t I'm telling you guys, it's just this. Don't make it anything bigger than it is. It's it's this whether people want to see it or not. It's the it's this it's the despair cycle, bro. It's been like this for over a fucking year. For fucking since the game's launch. Since I've started playing it, bro, it's always been like this. It'll all... It's just the fucking lowest of lows and the highest of... High. Every MMO is like this, guys. All MMOs are like this, bro. Right now, WoW's on the highest of highs, and then it'll hit the lowest of lows, bro. And then people will be like, oh, 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 oh shit, Blizzard pal, who? Oh. It will happen, bro. And so you just ride the highs and you fucking dip out on the lows, bro. And that's what happens. Yeah, despair cycle, insanely long fight, mauled inducing, wiping in the raid, fucking dude, this fight's long as shit, bro. Honestly, bro, this whole clip too doesn't even isn't even that bad if he starts laughing in it, right? The difference is, dude, I mauled like this all the time. I'm like, the paladin died again, man. How do you fucking die, man? No way. At the very end of the fight, too, you so bitch. And then you laugh a little bit, and then it's then it's whatever, right? Like. It's, you just have to laugh at the end of it, like, just to laugh it off. That's pretty much what it is, right? You gotta just laugh. At, th there's 270 comments. The tone is a bit different. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's what it is. It's a tone thing. I'm not defending him because he's my friend. I genuinely think that people are a little, like, guys, it's just, it is what it is, bro. Like, people get angry. They get recorded. He's on camera. He's fucking annoyed. I've been seriously annoyed in raids before, man. I've been in some fucking jail G's, bro, that have tilted me off the face of the earth. Maybe I'm a little bit better at hiding it than other people or whatever, but I've been in some fucking jails, bro. And it sucks, man. Okay, but he snapped at 7 a.m. That's a, yeah, it's a lot of factors. It's a lot of factors. It's a lot of factors. They need to chill with the long fights. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, man. 
I am telling you, the structure of the way that they do things, they need... I mean, I, that's the thing. Though. That's what literally the fucking bozos were saying. They said, oh, God, like, we need to make the raids not like this. We need to go back to Vaulton, but we have the hardest raid ever that's about to release. I hope it doesn't fuck everything up. That's literally what they said. They literally, like... We need to go back to the easier shit, but we're already in the development of uh, Thamine, so he's gonna be hard as fuck. You got, it's okay to have the hard raids, but it shouldn't be the avenue for getting gold and like your set. If you wanna get, progression should not come from, you know, or should there should be other ways to progress, bro. Like if you wanna, like I don't wanna do mythic raiding, right? For example, I don't wanna do mythic raiding in WoW. I don't want to do it. I don't want to sign up for the raid groups. I don't want to do that, right? But I can also PvP if I want to get my gear that way, and I can do Mythic Plus if I want to gear that way, right? I have options of ways of things that I, I can, the way that I want to do stuff. You know what I mean? There is no option here. That's what I'm trying to get at. There has to be options in the game, right? They got to start learning. Like, this is what I've been saying for fucking ever in this game, bro. And maybe it's like Zeno. You know, Zeno is like, the game's not, the game's for everybody. Remember, you know, Zeno always does a thing. The game is for everybody. You know, Zeno does the game is for everybody thing. The game's for everybody. This game is for one person. <laughs> This game is for like one type of player, right? That's the thing. This game is the opposite. This game is not for everybody. It doesn't have to be for every bozo. Well, let me tell you something, motherfucker, okay? You don't, let me tell you something, motherfucker. You ain't on payroll for this game. Stop sucking the game's fucking dick. It sucks dick, bro, that it's not for everybody. It sucks dick that they don't have multiple activities. Stop being a contrarian Carl because you just want to sit here like, and hide behind the cube. You know what I mean? Just, just fucking go along with it. It's fine, right? This is fine. Everyone wants more shit. Who doesn't want more shit? Don't gawk gawk the game. It's fine. Plenty have told him that nothing and nothing makes him angrier. I don't think he's burned out. I think he he's just thin-skinned and would have act like this regardless of what he streams. Okay, bro. I mean, this is some armchair like. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is like one of those things where like you fucking. A lot of like WebMD shit, you know what I'm saying? Some cr this is like some crazy fucking Reddit doctor. He's got strong work ethic for sure, but he needs to learn to ignore comments. The more he responds and shows weakness, the more people will try to pity him, which he which absolutely dr drives him crazy. Could be some cultural differences there, to be honest. KR and NA have pretty different social standards for weight and beauty. <laughs> I'm just moving on on that one, dude. That was just, that was just, we're just skipping that one for sure, dude. That's just like a fucking. <laughs> that's just, that's just, that's just, we're moving on. <laughs> it's just crazy. I remember a couple of years ago, then uh, in Souls Trains, I remember years ago that. I remember a couple years ago that in Seoul's train stations, I saw face plastic surgery ads on the wall. Not sure if that's normal in NA as well, but from an E perspective, that's whack as f What are we even talking about right now? What is even going on? What does this have to do with anything? South Korea has an insanely high percentage we get plastic surgery. <laughs> What is going on though? I don't know if we're on the right. Are we still on the right post? ATK is literally Canadian. He just happens to live in Korea since he's the director of Twitch Care before he retired. I used to be a longtime watcher of his and still respect him as a creator, but got banned for the most asinine stuff. He just a bit moody. True, however, he still streams from KR and KR servers and probably has a good amount of KR views, possibly contributing toward what I mentioned. Edit. Not trying to get too deep. All I want to do is bring up that some context matters and people take things different ways for different reasons. Yeah, I get how cultural views can... Okay, I'm not reading that part. Cody is so underrated as a content creator. He talks to all of his chat like you've been there for a while, even if it's your first time. He does hell content and you see him figure out the way he does figure it out. And he does funny cosplay streams. You could have tilted... You could have just titled this ATK Mold. It's always the same anger for anything if you open up a stream nowadays. I don't think he's always this angry. Otherwise, there'd be a lot of 13,000 viewed clips. That sound in the background is making me crazy. Oh, this shit. You know what's... Hold on. Just hold on real quick, real quick, real quick. Please let me on. I'll stay in the cargo hold. That's just too little money. <laughs> Please. 
I'll stay in the cargo hold. That's just too little money. 